uh, today we uh, so, uh, we this is about the surface surface area determination and the setting in chronometry will looks like this we look like, we look like this so this is a chronoamperometry. So you just uh, click OK, and then we will put the voltage. Uh, this this voltage we obtained that uh, from as I already mentioned uh, from the cyclic voltmetry. So we can we can know what is the voltage that the peak when the peak happened, and then we just put that voltage in here but a little bit higher than that peak in the second voltmetry and then if you remember we put in here so 200 millisecond is like uh, what 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 second and then and then you just run the experiment and then after that you will have the data I will load. So the data. So this is the uh, chronometry, the result, and then what you. So this is time as a uh, x-axis, and then the q-axis. Uh, no, the the y-axis is the column, the charge. So I just click OK, and then so. This is how that graph looks. Is uh, so you need to export that in Excel because uh, we cannot have that uh, that tools in here to plot uh, to export this result to text. So you can open it with Excel and that you can make the form. You can put the formula and then you will get that line. So I will show so you as uh, we already learned about that export as text. So open that result. So all files. Open. So I just export it. Then let's see in the folder we will have So in the folder now we have that file with with MPT, and we can we will open this file in Excel. All files. So this is it. Okay. Let's see what happened. Okay, so from from the the MPT text, actually we can see the setting of the experiment. So in this case, I don't have the setting of this experiment, but I can still know what is the setting in what is the setting in here by seeing that MPT text after you export that that result the, the file with the dot ampere extension after we export it when you open it there is a uh, some information that you can read that will tell you about what is the setting of the excel mean let's for example this experiment uh, let's see what time yeah let's look at that so 0 0.25 so 200 millisecond and then it used the voltage of 0 0.35 and this is the result. So yeah, from here, you need to plot the Q and time, but time is in a uh, square root, not, not this time. So you can just copy this uh, two data to another, uh, let's say to another uh, Excel window or, or if you want to make it easier, because you only need time and Q, you can you can export uh, that result in another way. So 
export as text as text so in here you select custom right so you select custom and then open that file that, that you want to export as text so we need the time and queue right so like time click it click this then uh, queue click this so we export it so we see now so we see now we see this dot uh, txt appears in our folder and then i will just open it so right now we only have two data that we want and then let's see what the lab say so we should change a uh, second as uh i will so this this will be time but in millisecond uh square uh, so it means that i should multiply this by 1000 and the result will be Or we just use uh, that uh, SKRP. You can do that as well. So, so this is for the time in uh, millisecond uh, square, and then you need to this. Uh, so it it means you need to multiply this by. One and six. Yeah, so we need to plot this now Q against time uh, in uh, millis uh, milliseconds square. So insert using this, and then just select data, remove all of them. We just need this as a as x axis and this as the y axis and then okay and after that we find the trend line to find the slope so just click trend line and then more trend line options and then linear and display equation so now you have your slope 0 0.0111 and then 0 11, uh, 0 0.0111 equal to that and then you can determine so yeah uh you we already given the the data and then you just follow the step and you are good yeah so I think that's uh, that's all for for my for my presentation today. Is there any question?